if you asked me like a couple years ago, or like even before the original Guardians of the Galaxy, will there be a movie called Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2? I would have said, no. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Oh, hey, look, he's already reviewed this one. I don't care, even though I totally agree with my exact percentage in that review. I'm still going to re-review it. So in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, essentially, there is this guy named Ego, and he's like, hey, Peter, did you know I'm your father? And then he's like, what the? You're my father? And then, like Star Wars. And then he goes, and he goes with Ego, and they're having fun together, but there's something darker in the mystery with what on the planet that Ego's on. So let's talk about it. Who wasn't hyped for this? Everybody was excited, like, oh my god, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Guardians 1 is awesome. And Guardians of the Galaxy 2, it's gonna be awesome. And we're gonna talk about it. From the get-go, everybody in this movie is good. I think everything I said in my original review, I can apply to this review. Like, I think it has all the same pros with the movie. Literally everything. That has a great soundtrack. It has a great soundtrack. Maybe not as legendary as the first one, but it's still a really awesome soundtrack. Characters are great, maybe not as great, but they are great. It's entertaining, and pretty much as entertaining as the original. But everything in this movie is really good. Not everything, I guess. There's a couple problems. But the majority of this movie, I think it's great. I love the, I love this movie. I know a lot of people are like, Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2? Nah, not my cup of tea, and I'm like, no, for it. Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2 is awesome. First thing I'm going to say is this, and that is Ego, the Living Planet. Spoiler alert, Ego's the villain. I know everybody knows that already. But Ego, the Living Planet, as a villain in this movie, was a really, really solid villain. He was... I really enjoyed his Kurt Russell's portrayal as him. There are... This is part of the lineup of Marvel. This is the first Marvel villain that was really good, and they just continued being good until... Actually, I don't know. I don't think it's been quite broken yet. Let's see. Um, this movie, very solid villain, Ego. Next movie... Uh, fantastic villain, Michael Keaton as the Vulture. Next movie, great villain, what's her name? Hella, I'm forgetting who played her, and I feel... Kate Blanchett as Hella, she was awesome. Uh, Killmonger is... Okay, so just Michael B. Jordan as Killmonger, awesome villain. Thanos, one of the greatest villains in cinema, cinematic history, to be honest. Uh, Ghost, this is also right, one of the more forgettable movies about the movie. That movie's just forgettable. Uh, and then, you know, Jude Law and Captain Marvel, he's also a good villain. Okay, so guys, visually, this movie is one of the best Marvel movies. Holy crap, it's far better than the original. No, I love the original visuals, but they're a lot more gray and brown. This movie's more like really vibrant colors. It's really colorful, and I really did that. This is the most colorful Marvel movie, and it's really fun to watch. It's very entertaining to see all the cool flashing lights and colors and guns fly. It's incredibly well made. The majority of this movie is CGI. So you gotta give him credit where credit is due. It looks amazing. There are a lot of this is a really good sequel in the way that it pushes characters more, like Age Voltron, where it yes, I still like Age Voltron, where it takes characters like Drax. Okay, now he's a developed character. Wow, I didn't see that coming. Uh, Gamora, even more developed character with Nebula, but holy crap, is she pushed in Infinity War? Uh, every character in this movie is developed even more, and that's how to do a solid sequel. It changes the characters, it adds new characters, that's a really good sequel right there. It's mainly James Gunn that brings his whole movie together. Sure, he wrote it and directed it. Thank God he's writing and directing Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I, didn't, I never talked about how he's doing that, but I'm going to real quick talk about it. I think that Disney was like, alright, he's out, because he did some really forgivable stuff on Twitter that he actually said sorry for, and then you guys are like, we're going to forget that you said sorry because we want to have some controversy. I don't even know why they did that, to be honest. But what was the point? Then they were like, all right, who should we make direct it? Um, uh, Psycho with CD could do the job, but uh, I don't know about him. Uh, and the, can we just get James Gunn back on? We kind of forgive him now. And now James Gunn direct is, directs Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, and I'm excited. I'm also excited to see how the end of Endgame plays in that movie. I'm actually going to make a video about movies after Endgame soon. But the level of enjoyability this movie has is insane. It's just hilarious and fun. Volume 2, not Volume 3. Volume 2 is insanely fun. And I love the title as well. Now, that might not be amazing. It's like, Volume 2, what? But most movies, except for Kill Bill, don't do Volume 2, and I like that. 
No Kill Bill deservedly de deserves that. Like, it deserves it because it's a two-parter movie. There's part one and there's part two, and it's like, okay, volume two. Because it's like the second volume of it, kind of like in the CDs where it's like this album, this album, volume two. Because it's like kind of the part two of the album, if you know what I mean. But this movie, it's not really the part two of Guardians of the Galaxy, it's just the sequel, but it's so 80s that it's like, we're going to go volume two. We're going to make it like written like it's on marker on it. <laughs> Didn't even make sense. The third act of this movie is incredibly entertaining. There's a moment in this movie, there's a whole like, like minute or so that every single time I watch it, I go, no, don't, don't cry. You're crying. You, you're really, you're really crying right now. Like, holy crap, this movie is sad. It make, it's a really sad movie, to be honest. There's an ending in this movie. That's just really sad. Just, if you haven't seen Volume 2, a spoiler alert, uh, 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 Yandu dies. And his final words are, He maybe was your father, but he wasn't your daddy. And I'm going to cry. No, I'm not going to cry. But it is really sad, though. Boy, do I look like I want to be here. Look at my eyes. This is not me. This is not me doing anything. They're just doing that right now. Here, there you go. Now, now do I look excited to be talking about this movie? You know how long, you know how hard it is to go, okay, let's record a 20 minute video, now let's record a 7 minute video, now let's record a, probably another 7 minute video, because I don't know how long this video is going to be. All the characters are good in this movie, and then I'm just going to say, overall, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is awesome. It is a great sequel to Guardians of the Galaxy, I don't have too much to say about this movie, but it's immensely entertaining, exciting, action-packed, incredibly fun, great soundtrack. It takes everything from the original, and while it has its problems, like the whole golden people thing i didn't really like that other than that it does bump it down a lot lower than the original guardians for me like the original guardians i love and this movie i love too but i don't like it as much and it is wow this is probably the closest movie i've ever been like eight or nine eight or nine eight or nine but i really i'm sorry guys i'm gonna give guardians of the galaxy volume two an eight out of ten 8.9 how about that and on letterbox i did give a nine out of ten as I'm recording this, probably not. As you're watching this, probably not. But earlier this week I did, or last week, or whatever, whenever this is being uploaded. I don't know when. Bye. This movie's awesome.